hello. 9.40ish right now. I woke up at 8.30, took a shower, did my hair. I'm going to try to plan to stay out for most of the afternoon. Um, I do have that showing of Phantom Thread at 11.55. And then after that, I'm probably going to actually bring my book and try to find someplace nice to read, um, nature-y, if I can think of anywhere. Although, today might be a little chilly, I'm not sure. I kind of need to burn time now. I have like two hours before I need to leave. So first things first, I'm going to walk Riley. And then, really, um, just killing time, not using water. I am about to go see Phantom Thread. I decided to go with a mix of comfort with this sweatshirt and J brand jeans. My top is Victoria Sport just because I bought it for com comfort purposes and maybe to wear while hiking. I don't have a lot of sweatshirt type of things. I definitely would like to buy more, but yeah, I got a fancier bottom half. Um, these boots are by Diane von Furstenberg, who is a wonderful designer. I wish I could buy more of her stuff, but I also decided to bring this bigger bag because I kind of plan on going somewhere after the movie and eating and reading a bit, so I needed a bigger bag to fit my book. And that's uh, pretty much it, so probably gonna head out now. I just got out of watching Phantom Thread. I don't know why critics are saying this movie is amazing. I'm really hungry right now, so I'm going to get some Panera. And I saw there's a local county oasis kind of place up north, 20 minutes or so. So I think I'm going to head over there afterwards just to burn some more time before going home. I have about two hours, so I don't mind going home before 4.30, it's just, I'm out, I might as well just enjoy it a little longer. But yeah, my stomach's starting to hurt, I really need to eat. That movie was so painful, like, I, I really don't understand. It's like an 8.5, only has 4,000 ratings, but people are giving it 10 out of 10, and I was bored out of my mind. I didn't understand the characters. I didn't like the characters, none of them. Um, and I'll go into detail more when I'm somewhere settled. <laughs> so I got soup and salad. Soup mainly because it's not as warm outside as I wished. Um, it was really cold in the theater, so I need something to warm me up and I was stupid and I didn't bring anything else, like a jacket. Wow, so I decided to go inside a random neighborhood. Um, I think I am in Lakeside or Santee or Ramona, close to those. And there's just this random beautiful area out into the mountains and there was actually an open house somewhere here today but apparently it ended at 3 p.m. and it's 3 30 right now I think the house is like right down there actually so I would have been so curious to see it that sucks but I think there is actually a no trespassing sign up so now that the open house is done I probably shouldn't be here but oh man this is so pretty so beautiful Oh, my baby. 
probably spend all her time sleeping. <laughs> Looking groggy. Break. Good. Oh. Every single time. <laughs> No shake yet. Another one. Sammy. Oh. Hi. Oh. There's still so much dirt on the side of the house over there. That's where they're doing the plumbing. So let me show you something. I needed to tape this area right before the door because Sammy was fucking up the carpet in the corner and I need to protect it. Um, I definitely am going to have to tell my landlord that Sammy destroyed the carpet and I'll probably offer him some money to make up for this destruction. Um, it really sucks. Honestly, I know it probably means that he doesn't want to be in here, but I am not the type of person that just caters to animals that are being destructive. Hey. <laughs> Look at this girl. Look at that beautiful sit, right? I rarely see her from behind, it's so weird. All right, I am back home. Uh, I spoke to some of the workers, they said maybe one more hour and that they would let me know when I can start using water. Um, I'm definitely not in a rush, it's just that sometimes I just casually wash my hands like after I play with Rylai and she's like slobbers all over me, so eh, not a big deal. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do tonight, most likely the usual, but I might focus more on reading first because I didn't get to do it at all while I was out. Um, I did go to a couple places after I ate at Panera and I took a few pictures and they were so beautiful. So my original plan was to go to this Oasis open preserve and when I got there, there was no benches around the parking lot. It was just directly to a trail. So I decided to go back south to a neighborhood that I drove by and Check it out because I thought it was really intriguing that the road led into the mountains. So when I got in there, I kind of went far in and I wanted to see the houses. And man, those people are so lucky. There's like beautiful lake views. Their houses are situated like kind of high up and then you can see it everything around there and I'm so jealous. Um, every single picture I took I was... Ah, it's really cool though to see how many different areas you can buy a house and really settle down so it's good to know that I'm kind of discovering all these areas. One of the houses that I took a picture of is 1.2 million and it was actually up for open house. I just got there at 3.30. I didn't even know that this house would be available to see. I just happened to drive in there and saw the signs and it was too late. A little exploration afterwards, even though I originally wanted to just park somewhere nice with views and read, but it was a little cold today. It's like low 60s by now and I only wore a sweatshirt, which is nothing for me. So, um, Kind of just decided to come home. I still have quite a lot of time before the weekend's over. Plenty that I can get myself involved in. So yeah, when it comes to Phantom Thread, the movie by Paul Thomas Anderson, I chose to watch it because critics rated it very well and IMDb has it over an eight with 4,000 or so votes. That is honestly really low, but I've, I guess I kind of got tricked by the critics this time because normally I 
don't pay too much attention to them because they rate a movie like Star Wars high. Clearly there must be something wrong with that. And I knew instinctively that based on the trailer, this movie wouldn't be good to me. I decided to watch it because it is Daniel Day Lewis's final movie and I can't think of anything I liked about this movie because hopefully people don't mind spoilers and if you do, I will put up a spoiler tag. So basically, the movie is about Daniel Day-Lewis who plays a dressmaker. He is a very well-known dressmaker that makes beautiful dresses for rich people, basically. And he, he ends up taking a trip to the countryside and he eats at a little cafe and meets a woman called Alma. And I guess right after seeing her, he seemed pretty smitten with her and then they went on a date. And by the end of that date, he was having her try on some dresses and getting her measurements. And based off that, I felt like he was more interested in her as a muse, um, wanting maybe her body type to inspire him for dresses, something like that. It just really didn't seem like he loved her. It seemed like to him, she was more of a useful living body for his craft. So a lot of the movie was basically him being an asshole. He's not a very good person. He's very condescending. He's also extremely, extremely particular about everything. So when they are having breakfast and she's preparing her breakfast, she's making noise, she's like putting butter on her toast, all of that noise, like the sound of the bread crunching and then the knife scraping or water dripping, any of that would piss him off. And he would be kind of, you know, mean about it because he has his process and if you disrupt it, then you are not, you know, catering to his lifestyle. So. There would be moments like that and also times where he would kind of disagree with your opinion but he wouldn't view it as opinion, he would view it as more like you don't have taste. So there was a scene where she said she didn't like the fabric of a dress that he made and he said that, you know, you don't know what you're talking about, you don't have taste and they were just arguing about it until he just told her to like be quiet. So. It's pretty much a lot of that, but for some reason, the woman, Alma, still loves him and desperately wants his attention. So it was kind of annoying to me to see a character who so desperately wants the attention of someone that they probably shouldn't be around. Well, who am I to say? But I like relationships that are balanced. Is that the right word for this? But for that one, it seemed like he was just taking and taking and taking and she got nothing. But she still wants to be with him, right? Um, I feel like a lot of people aren't able to see when a relationship is toxic and you shouldn't continue with it. But this movie was pretty much what I just explained, except maybe they found a way to celebrate it, like make it seem like they grew together. But I kind of didn't see it that way. There was also th this one scene where she was kind of like at her breaking point. She wanted to surprise him with dinner, just them two, at his house. And they got everybody else out, all the help or like the cook. Anyways, uh, he got back, she wanted to surprise him and he got really pissed off that she didn't cook food the way he wanted it to be. And after that surprise went wrong, she decided to poison him with a mushroom, I guess like slight poisoning, so he became sick and he ended up requiring her to nurture him back to health. I thought that was an extremely unpleasant moment of the film because that action of poisoning him, to me it feels like the type of woman that traps you by getting pregnant on purpose. So they did that. They kind of rediscovered their love a little bit after that and he asked her to marry him. And then the cycle kind of continues where he's kind of a dick for long enough and then 
she poisoned him again, except the second time, he was aware of it and he went along with it happily. So that was really strange to me. I guess maybe they are different people who enjoy that dynamic. So maybe I'm not the right type of audience for this type of movie, but the poisoning thing was really weird to me and I just really did not like their relationship dynamic. And it was just really slow too. So yeah, overall, I just don't think I would recommend it because what? Well, She's always sniffing my butt. Poppers. She sniffs my butt and then she looks up at me and smiles. And it's just, it's comical. I mean, I actually don't care that she's sniffing my butt, but you know, for a split second, it, it ends up feeling kind of invasive. But anyways, I don't think I have much else to rant about for this movie. I just thought it was unrelatable. I couldn't relate to it at all. And was not very fond of the characters, so. That is my review. I would give it... Uh, I feel like 2 out of 5 is harsh, but I just didn't see what needed to be seen for this. They're drilling now, so I'm going to cut this off. So, in the middle of reading, I just decided that I felt really tired and I needed to take a nap because I woke up early just because of the water thing. So I went to sleep at like kind of late and I woke up at 8.30 so nap two hours or so and I do feel much better. And now it is time to eat some dinner. Um, I think I really am going to try to finish my book today. I have like 60 pages or so left so if I can just turn it out today that would be good otherwise there really is no rush but um, in terms of tennis it is the second match going on and Federer is playing third so it would be cool to see him play I actually never really watched much Federer in the past because when I got into tennis Nadal and Djokovic were pretty much at the top Federer was still at the top but I guess I placed more emphasis on the others so I never really cared or worry too much about watching him play, but I mean, he is one of the greats and he probably is one of the most successful ones, top two ever, so would be good to watch him play. And you know, age is just not a factor for these guys. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. <laughs> oh man, I like s slept on the couch and I just end up getting swarmed by animals. It's funny. Like, I just take up most of the couch, and then Riley is at the end, and then Sammy sometimes comes to cuddle with me, and then Milo is just... Milo's like that little ghost, right? You don't think he's there, but then he just is at the foot of the couch underneath, and <laughs> he just surprises you. 